Well, like I said, this exhibit color six, covers 63 years of um, professional football in Baltimore. And the reason it's so big, it has every uniform, all eight uniforms of the Baltimore Colts marching band into the marching Ravens. You know, we've had like, like five or six different ownerships of professional football, four or five professional football teams here, but the band never gave up. It's the same band, and they helped bring professional football back to Baltimore in a very big way. You know, in the time we did not have a professional football team here, uh, the band did 30 NFL games in that time, never giving up. When the Models come here, they adopted Marching Ravens, and they didn't stop there because it's the Marching Ravens. They did the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day Parade, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, the Inauguration Parade. Uh, they even did, like I said, play with, with the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra under uh, the conduction of Marvin Hamlish. So this is a band that, again, they never give up, the band that wouldn't die. And the DVD, like Barry Levinson said, they never expected it to be this big. They expected it to be good. Yeah. But Sports Illustrated said that they voted it the best DVD, the best one of the 430 for 30 series. And we finally get to tell our story of why the Colts. New exhibit, like I said, is a new board called Baltimore's Marching Ravens at Home and in the Community. You know, we left off with the history of the Baltimore Colts marching band all the way through showing the different styles of uniforms and what the band did and logo changes. And it ended up with 1998 when the Baltimore uh, Ravens adopted the Baltimore Colts marching band and made them into the Baltimore Ravens. Then we started with this board right here. And this shows the exhibit and what we do in the community, the major things we've done in the community. And we have an exhibit, which you see over here, of every uniform that the band's worn since 1947. All seven styles. Then, to continue it into the new exhibit, if you go uh, right over here, is the current uniform of the Marching Ravens. Nice. This is style number eight since 1947. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming tonight. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, support, Bill. Thank you so much for sponsoring this. The Council of uh, Ravens Nest. Thank you so much for sponsoring this. This is a great story. Uh, an important story that I think we continue to tell. Uh, one of the things that we try to do here at the Sports Legends Museum is to obviously highlight, celebrate, recognize the accomplishments of our athletes and our teams, but to also recognize those people, those individuals, those organizations that make Maryland sports, Baltimore sports, what it is. And it is all together fitting, it is all together. What we should be doing tonight is celebrating the accomplishments contributions of the Baltimore Colts band and the Marching Ravens. They are an important part of our community. They are an important part of what we do. When many people had lost hope that professional football would be in Baltimore, the band kept that hope alive. The band played on. Uh, 63 years, as Michael said, 63 years. What does that mean? What happened in 63 years? Well, let me try to put it in perspective for you. Six decades one band. Three stadiums, one band. Four leagues, one band. Seven different franchise owners, one band. 1947 till now, that band has given us hope. That band has given us so much to be proud of. That band is what Baltimore and Maryland is all about. If Cal Ripken is the Iron Man of baseball, then the Marching Ravens are the Iron Band. So, This is that is like one of the coolest. <laughs> <laughs>